Concentrate on curing me. <laughs> what do you mean? Concentrate. Help me, please. <laughs> it worked. Look. Yeah, look. What have you done to me? What is this? Oh, dear. <laughs> That wasn't supposed to happen still. Never mind, eh? Well, how do I get rid of it? You can't. It's all yours now. Still, you've got it anyway. Just uh, look on the bright side like I do, eh? Look on the what? I'm getting out of here. I'm sorry, John, but I need you here. Why? And the name's Phil. Phil. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Look, how do I get rid of this mess? You can't. It's all yours. You saw that poor wretch down there? Yes. We well, see, we are aliens to this time zone. The terrible forces within the cosmos will destroy us unless we get out of here and quickly. You see, it's come back already. That is why I had to make contact. Contact? It's contact with you for the key. What? Oh, come on. 
The key, you understand. Look, what are you talking about? Look, this is my means of transport in time. I was hoping to come through into your time track, but instead, <laughs> you've come through into mine. Still not to worry, eh? Oh, thanks. You mean I'm not even in my own history? Well, in a word, yes. I mean, no. You see, we have to find this key. We're stuck until we do. What does it look like? Well, it's a scarabaeus. That's a, a beetle. And it fits on here. We can't move an inch in time without it. Dare I ask if you know where it is? Well, I'm pretty certain it's with the captain. John! Look out, somebody's coming. <laughs> ah, Jim lad. The art of this game is disguised. John! Quick, they're coming. Hi. John! John! Near about somewhere. John! John! Who are they? Well, I was telling you, that's the mutineers that's stopping me getting to the captain. And the ringleader, he's that rascal Silver. Silver? Long John Silver? Yeah, the very same. But he's a character in a story. Well, not in this time track. He's very real. <laughs> I'll fix him. Scarabaeum, Maltem, Fluvem, Muchus, Rumbulus. That's an earthquake, eh? I command it! <laughs> Great. Uh, what was that supposed uh, to be? Ah, well, now you see, this is a huge wall, a barrier to keep them out. It didn't work very well, did it? You noticed. No, I'm afraid my magic doesn't always work too well. <laughs> Still not to worry about it. Uh, let's think of something else. Uh, not on me. There, don't look out of place now. The art of disguise, boy. Well, whose side are we supposed to be on? Side, boy, Sandy, that's whose side we're on. Fools are rushing around with their swords and their guns, and for what reason? A heap full of base metals, that's all. Over here, lads. Come on, hide! Stay where you are, Swab. Stop him! Don't let him get away! Yeah. How you fetch up here, boy? Ain't no need to fire you. No. Eh? Well, you come alongside old John. Tell him all about it. Now, where you from, boy? There he is, eh? <laughs> Got any cheese, mate? Ah! So, you were shipwrecked, eh? Well, sort of. Uh, no matter. Now you come alongside, we're all mates here, right, lads? That's right, enough, John. I was wondering as though you might want to throw your lot in with us. Use a smart lad like yourself. What do you say? What for? Treasure. Tis treasure we'll get. But you've mutinied, haven't you? Uh, You're pirates. Aye, uh, man, you got the eye, man. <laughs> Gentlemen of fortune. Oh, there'll be fair shares for all, you great of that. And I'd look after you like you was one of me own. Now, how's that? Sounds fine. But are you sure you'll find the treasure? Oh, we'll find it all right. Don't you worry about that. And when this lot is over, we'll eat and drink like fighting cocks and have enough money in our pockets to leave the seat for good. I myself intend to set up like a gentleman with live tightly all my days. So, lad, are you for us? Or are you against us? I don't know. Ah, well, them that can't make up their mind must learn to do without the right. <laughs> Now, there's a riddle, Marie. Still no matter. More important things at hand. Time we put our deal to the captain, wouldn't you say, lads? Uh, none too soon, I'd say, John. I'm sure he'd be willing to do business now. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> 